Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another model review today. This will be the Aero Classics 1 to 400 Texas International DC 930. And as usual, guys, uh, get started with trivia question shout outs. Um, the last trivia question was what airline used the advertising slogan, uh, Some People Just Know How to Fly? The answer is uh, Northwest Airlines. And the people that got that correct, uh, uh, Georgian, Jazz, Maple, Air Canada, EVA, S, and Ru or Rouge. Uh, that's all one channel name, um, AKA Dustin. Uh, GJ Plaz got that correct. Lucas Orcock got that correct. And I believe that is it. Double check. Yes. Okay. And as usual, guys, I will have a trivia question, new one at the end of this video. So a little background, guys, about Texas International. It was an uh, intrastate carrier for a while, and then... Uh, in Texas, back then, they used to call it Treetop Airways, and it merged with Continental, actually it bought out Continental Airlines, and uh, the rest is history. There's a long after history of the airline as well, but it's kind of complicated, so I won't get into it here. But as usual, guys, we'll get started with uh, the box. A rather boring old Aero Classics box. You have green, the bubble, and then you have adult collectible model, not suitable for children under 14. Oh, and nothing on the back. So on the model, guys, if you zoom in, okay, there are no windshield wipers unless they hide them very well, your eyebrow windows. The beautiful Texas International livery, you have the L1 boarding door, Texas International, uh, the American flag, your two overwing exits, I mean your two over, yeah, the two overwing ex exits and then your uh, emergency slide. Come down here, there's the beautiful blue, red, white, and blue sheet lines, your registration N532TX very appropriate and then it swoops up until the to the beautiful star with a uh, blue background looks a little bit like the one on Aero Transat or Air Transat rather but not exactly but it does look similar so turn the aircraft around pretty much the same thing there are two cargo slash luggage doors the one right there on the front and then in the back, you need a registration again in 532TX. And go on to the bottom of the plane. It's pretty uh, plain. You have the nose gear, a little bit of nose gear doors. Oh, I forgot about the black um, nose cone. There are no landing lights but you do have navigation there's the red and the green there's a stand hole uh, your two main gears your one piece wing there's a little bit of detail on the bottom um, they actually used to put the registration on the bottom of the wing as well there's your rear loading stairs your two uh, engines so, Gemini Jets made one of these in 1 to 200, but sadly they did not make one in 1 to 400. But this is an excellent model for a uh, classics collection, or if you have a classic airport, or if you just like uh, predecessor airlines. So, but yes, uh, very complicated history of Texas International. The guy that ran Texas International 
Uh, and they, when he took over Continental, uh, they formed Texas Air Group. And then they proceeded to buy several other airlines during the 1980s. And then he was kicked out of the airline because he, well, there were some slightly shady dealings that went on. So, anyways, guys, um, the next trivia question is, okay, SN Brussels Airlines was formed in 2002 as the new Belgian international carrier, uh, later to be known as Brussels Airlines. What was the name of the airline that SN Brussels replaced? Again, SN Brussels Airlines was formed in 2002 as the national carrier of Belgium, uh, later to be known as Brussels Airlines. What airline did SN Brussels replace? So leave your comment uh, below, guys. Thank you. And this is a rather short uh, model review, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And I will see you guys in the next video.